Hello there, I'm Tim Kern, half of the Finance Couple, and welcome to Two Minute Tuesdays with Tim, where we look to infuse financial planning with just a little bit of common sense. And Happy New Year. Welcome to 2023. Thank you for joining us. I hope you had a, a great holiday and I hope you have a, a great start to the year. Today, I want to talk about planning for the unexpected. Why I want to bring this up is because we actually had an unexpected event about two weeks ago, right before Christmas. Our our young son, Cole, um, had, didn't feel so great, went to the doctor and uh, said, you know, wasn't feeling so great. The doctor ran an EKG and the doctor said, hey, we don't really like what we see. We're going to send you to the emergency to get full emergency room to get full workup. Uh, scared him and he called us and scared us to say the least one of the things we did before jumping in the car and heading straight to charlotte to see what we could do is we grabbed a copy of the hipaa release as well as the healthcare power of attorney that we had because we wanted to be able if something happened heaven forbid if something happened we want to be able to converse with the doctors and nurses about cole's care this brought to mind, and oh, by the way, uh, Cole's fine. Turned out uh, everything was normal. He got full workup. We actually turned around halfway to shop, came back home because they said everything's fine. Uh, yes, it gave us a good scare, but um, it reminded me of preparing for the unexpected. Look, the inevitable is always going to happen, but we always like to stick our head in the sand. All of us human beings stick our head in the sand and think, oh, nothing really bad is ever going to happen. But things happen. The unexpected is going to happen. You need to make sure you've got, in this case or most cases, the right estate planning documents, whether it's a will or a trust, healthcare power of attorney. Uh, a general durable power of attorney, a living will. You need to have these documents ready just in case. I, I know this is a little bit morbid, but you should plan for the unexpected, plan for the inevitable just in case, because what I know is just in case will typically happen sooner or later. Please make sure when you look into doing legal documents like this, you you talk to your attorney or, or legal professional about doing all this for you. Uh, but aside from that, uh, thank you as always for joining us. I hope you have a great start to 2023. I hope this didn't start it off on a sour note, but look, life, it, it is what it is, as I always like to say. So plan for the unexpected. Please join us next week at 1 p.m. on Tuesday, or you can watch these. And they, all these are kept on our website. Uh, past previous ones you can watch as well. Have a great start to 2023. And as always, mind your state of mind. Take care.